Hey everyone, welcome to Fan Wagon, where I'm your host today, Alan, and we're going to be diving into our third Hot Toys review on none other than the big baddie himself from Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Adam Driver's Kylo Ren. Let's go ahead and dive into the review and check out the box first. Stick around. Alright guys, what we have here is your basic black Star Wars box with a picture of Kylo Ren on the front with his lightsaber. Under the Star Wars logo, you will notice that it does not mention The Force Awakens, which I thought was kind of weird. At the very bottom, you do have your MMS 320 Kylo Ren 6 scale collectible figure. And on the back, let's go ahead and check it out and see what's there. You do have your various warnings and product information, as well as Kylo Ren's name with the MMS 320 up at the top. So let's go ahead, break out the man himself, Kylo Ren. All right, so here we are with Kylo Ren himself. Now, as you can see from this figure, it does have great detail in his uniform clothing. One thing that does not come off is the helmet or the hood. You cannot remove that, which is kind of disappointing, citing that we don't get a lot with this figure. But what this figure does come with is it's like two lightsabers, actually, um, a couple pairs of hands, and uh, some very, very good detail. Now, let's go ahead and break into what comes in the box with Kylo Ren. Alright everyone, so what we have here is the accessories for Kylo Ren. As you can see, you do get two arms. One does come on the figure, but is removable. So you can use this lightsaber light up. Now this lightsaber does not come out of Kylo Ren's hand, so don't try to take that off. And make sure you guys read your instructions too before posing this figure to learn how to attach and detach this arm. You also come with another lightsaber. Which, uh, this lightsaber, you can actually take these pegs out and place them into that. You get two hands that are kind of open, more relaxed palms. You get two fisted hands. You get one kind of, um, I don't want to say force choke hand, but when he stops that bullet, he is uh, using that. And you get a lightsaber holding hand. So, let's go ahead and get into some articulation with Kylo Ren. So, as we can see here... With this figure, he does have pretty good articulation. You can get his hands up a little bit over 90 degrees. You do have, I believe they're double jointed. Yep, you have double jointed elbows, which are very nice for this figure, any kind of figure. You do have wrist articulation in and, well, maybe not so much in, but swivel, yes. Now, this hand that I do have in isn't the one with the battery powered. Um, operated lightsaber but how to remove that is you just unzip this and you pull this arm out kind of move up his sleeve so it kind of makes it a little bit easier now that hand does have less articulation doesn't have in and out articulation for the wrist so let's go ahead and jump into his head uh, here let me take off the hood so Kylo can look up around that much down that much. Now the collar will kind of get in its way and like I said it is not removable so please don't try to remove it. You do have full range of motion left and right as well as head pivot. Now the articulation is really good on this figure that is one thing that I like. You do have minor waist articulation. Not really an ab crunch either because of the whole belt right here. So let's go ahead and get into his legs. Now for his legs, you do have double knee joints, which are always nice. You can get his leg up about that high. Pants are a little restricting, but you know, you're not going to be throwing them in no high kick poses. As for his boot, his boot is one single piece. So you're not going to have that separate shoe thing like on uh, some other figures. And waist art, or, um, I'm sorry, leg articulation, ankle articulation is all right. It's not bad, but uh, you know this does hinder, you know, the ankle pivot. But it's still there, as you can see. So for articulation, this figure is very poseable, very flexible, and has great range of motion so let's go ahead and jump into a stand really quick. Alright guys so what we have here is a pretty basic stand you do have this uh, kind of generic logo for Star Wars as well as the basic kind of crotch grab thing 
at the very bottom of the plate it does say Star Wars Kylo Ren once again just like the box it does not mention the Force Awakens pretty durable stand uh, I wish the base was a little bit bigger and had a little bit more pizzazz to it but you know no complaints so far on the stand now let's go ahead and jump into some poses with the figures as well as some plus and minuses of the figure Now, oh, here is a more dynamic pose with the figure. That's kind of the good thing about this figure is that you can leave them in some dynamic poses. It won't hinder the costume too much. Here will be our final pose until I get into some high definition pics, kind of close ups on the mask, lightsaber, and stuff like that. Alright guys, I just want to thank you guys for joining us, checking out our review. First off, before I exit this video, I wanted to rate this figure, this man, right here. I'm going to go ahead and rate it out of 10. I'm going to do a 7, just for the simple fact that it doesn't come with a lot of accessories. I would like to see another head sculpt. But, other than that, it's a great figure. If you guys haven't seen Star Wars The Force Awakens, make sure you guys go and check it out. So, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Check out all of Fan Wagon's previous videos for anything comic book movie related. And now, Hot Toys. So, thank you guys for joining us. See you guys on the next video.